Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight and the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, th those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. What are you trying to prove to them? What I'm trying to do is to, is to make a, a significant difference in, in space flight and, and, and help make space flight accessible to, to almost anyone. And I, I, I would uh, hope for as much support in that direction as we, as we can receive. I had a tough choice there uh, because I could either provide all of the money for SpaceX mm -hmm. or all of the money for Tesla yeah. and then increase the chance that one of them would survive mm -hmm. uh, or I have to split the money. Yeah. And, but if I split the money then maybe both will die. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can imagine like it's almost like if you had two children and, yeah. you, and you have only so much food, what, what do you do? So what was the choice? I split it. Eight weeks later, Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. And this time around, everything worked. Perfect. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. You couldn't have gone out at that point. We, we, it, yes, death would have been, I think, inevitable because we did not have the resources to, to mount a fifth launch. He bills himself as chief designer and chief technology officer. How did you get the expertise to be the chief technology officer of a rocket ship company? Um, well, I do have a physics background. That's helpful as a foundation. Um, and then I read a lot of books and talked to a lot of, a lot of smart people. You're self-taught? Yeah. Well, well self-taught, yes, meaning um, I, didn't, I don't have an aerospace degree. So how, how did you go about acquiring the knowledge? Well, uh, I, like I said, I read a lot of books, talked to a lot of people, and, and have a great team. will be able to do. So you, you'll be able to land anywhere on Earth with the accuracy of a helicopter, which is, which is I think, something that a spaceship should, a modern spaceship should be able to do. And it'll be capable of carrying seven people, seven astronauts, for several days. It, uh, it has an improved version of our Pika heat shield. And uh, it's, it's all around, I think, a, a, a really a big leap forward in technology. It really takes things to the next level. So with that, let's, let's see the Dragon version one. We're going to do the countdown here. All right. Oh, Dragon version two. <laughs> T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.
Gates is like. A minus 15, stand by for terminal count. And nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two.
Miko. Dragon launch escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Okay, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. We've got some loud cheers um, here in Hawthorne. The, the folks that just watched live the dragon separate. The next milestone we have coming up at 2 minutes, 25 seconds. Um, we're expecting to see the trunk jettison. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again. Some really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. It's orbiting the area. And there they are. Drogue shoots are out. Again, some major cheering going on here as every stage of this test unfolds. Now we're going to be getting ready for the main shoots to deploy. And we have the view from a different camera on Dragon showing the four main parachutes. Now they are deployed in a reefed condition. That means we're keeping them fairly shut to avoid shocks. And now we're slowly opening up the four parachutes. Great views coming okay. off of the Dragon camera on the left. And we can also see the four parachutes from the airplane on the right. That is a really cool view. Nice view of the orange and white parachutes. Flash down and they'll be recovered too. And we are down. down a little bit early in fact and there you can see the recovery boat beginning to approach instantly I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder so you can hear me over the folks here uh, this has been a really exciting thing to see if you reach the point of having a successful manned flight what will you have proven we're not doing it to prove anything <laughs> uh, you know we know it can be done we're just trying to do it a little bit differently a little bit faster and to push the push the fence a little bit farther out and then we can all go i mean i want to go into space i assume most people here do as well how many want to ride uh -huh. <laughs> okay everybody <laughs> wants to go I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure <laughs> five four three two one zero Ignition. liftoff of the falcon nine and crew dragon go nasa go space deck godspeed spot and dog Vehicle pitching downrange. One alpha. Copy, one alpha. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And we have Miko. Miko. Two alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. MVAC ignition. Just about 10 seconds away from that first stage, starting that entry burn on your right screen, we should be able to see that view live. Stage one entry burn startup. And there is that entry burn Michael, beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. Seen their highest G force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one line cutoff startup. confirmation. And back throttle step. And back shut down. Did you landing there? Confirmation of Seco second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system is nominal orbital, nominal orbital Dragon insertion. Nominal orbital insertion. What you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. 
This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. That one need a recovery one. <laughs> so exciting today. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It does not stop. See on recovery one. And it's right at about 12 minutes when Dragon will separate. that motion is is clear then uh, the soft capture system will be retract retracted and uh, dragon will go for hard capture we sure appreciate that sir it's uh, obviously been our honor to be just a small part of this uh, we have to give credit to SpaceX the commercial crew program and of course NASA it's great to get the United States back in the uh, crewed launch business, and uh, we're just really glad to be on board this uh, magnificent complex. 